hello everyone welcome back so now we are at the end of this course where we are going to learn the last and very much new topic which introduced from the 12c was oracle multi-tenant architecture this was introduced in 12c r1 okay from 12c r1 it was like okay it was like okay okay fine type but from 12c r2 lot of thing got changed here in this multi-tenant architecture so and in 18c again few more enhancement has been seen so we are going to learn the multi-tenant architecture here so the question is what was the because the multi-tenant architecture is nothing but the replacement of your standalone database so the question is what was the problem of the standalone database means till 11g what we were learning was standalone database this one is not standalone database so what is the problem and what is mean by standalone database standalone database means one database in your one server that's called standalone database till now we had learned this one right so what is the problem with the standalone database let's say let me give you a scenario let's say in the, you are working in an organization and in an organization what you are doing you are managing hundred of server let's say server one server two dot 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 server hundred okay now let's say each server has their dedicated database installed database one database two and so on database hundred now let's say the memory utilization or ram utilization in this first server is let's say 40 percent let's say for the first server hard disk utilization is let's say let me say take a number 40 percent and this is for all let's say so you are wasting per server 60 percent of your resources okay so oracle started thinking that also you need a uh, per server you need one dba for 100 server you need 100 dbs so st oracle started thinking like what should be done so that we can uh, uh, get rid of this kind of issue get rid of multiple dbs so that's why uh, this multi-tenant architecture actually cut off the dbs from the organization okay so they come up with the solution where you don't have 100 server 100 databases you have only one database which act like which we you can make 100 server out of that one database okay so that's called your multi-tenant architecture or multi-tenant database so let's try to understand what is that so there are a few terminology which you have to understand whatever you had learned so far you had learned so far whatever the database you had learned so far that was normal database what we can say we are going step by step normal database this normal database also called non cdb it's non container database there was no container option what is container i am going to discuss but let me sure whatever till 11g you studied that is a known container database right this is not a container database there is no concept of container so what is container database okay so let us discuss about the container database and one more thing i just want to tell you one known uh, non-container database can't be converted in container database okay when you install 18c i hope you remember we picked up an option of create container database but if you don't pick that option you can't create the container database from non-container now the question is what is container database so the container database is denoted by cdb that's called container database container database okay so that's called container database so the question is what is container database so the container database is a database which can hold can holds multiple databases multiple database so it's itself a database but it can hold multiple database so let me sh draw an architectural diagram so you will understand so let's see this is a container database okay it's it's same like everything is common like normal database plus some extra features okay so name of by default generally we find the name of the container database every database has some name right some have orcl some have db1 some have db2 db3 same way container database also have name cdb dollar root so this is the name of our container database okay perfect now on this container database this is on container database right this is like a database here you can have your control file data file like you used to know in a database right okay 
on this top of this database you can install or you can attach or you can plug some small databases which is called normal database or pluggable database so you can have let's say database one this container database is just like a container what you do in a container let's say there is a container in container you put let's say it's a container of milk you will put milk right so it's container of database so it's will it will contain databases let's say database one database two and so on it will contain this database so let's say this is called database one okay this is called database two and so on okay and here by default whenever you choose uh, means you pick the option container database while installation so the container database is created with the name container database dollar root and there is one another database is created which is called pdb seeds so this is a default database which is created so what is that this is a template database okay <coughs> i will discuss in a moment so these are some normal database okay which are residing on this container database this normal databases okay which you used to learn till 11g those are so all are normal those normal databases are called pdb here okay so this all are pdb so we can say this is a pdb1 pdb2 pdb3 like this okay and this is a big database container database the container database is managed by one admin okay and that admin is called your this admin is called container database admin cdb admin okay and this pluggable let's say this is a small database one in till 11g you were you you were using a 10 gb of database that was a pluggable database okay so that database where where that that database actually managed by you right so this database have its own admin so let's say this is a database one it have its own admin let's say it will have its own admin okay let's say this one let me make it small a little okay so it will have its own admin let's say this name of this admin is it's so called pdb admin okay which was normal admin till now so pdb admin one okay so this pdb admin one is nothing but it's for managing it's for managing the pluggable database one okay this pdb one same way you have same way you have second admin second admin for this database pdb admin 2 pdb admin 3 pdb admin 4 and this admin is having the most power because he can access these database plus he can access all these databases but this pdb admin has scope till this database only he can't access this this and even the container so this is about your admins now the question is what is this pdb seed this is also a pluggable database but this come by default with installation it is created so what happens is nothing but what is this so if i will say it's a template it's a template what is mean by template here template in the sense whenever you try to create let's say you try to create a pluggable database and you want to plug it here so when you try to create a pluggable database how, what is the format that format is followed by this template so what is the process of creating pluggable database we will see in the lab the process is there are two ways to create a pluggable database there are two ways to create a pluggable database so what are the two ways the first way is the first way of creating a pluggable database like copy from seed okay copy from seed pdb okay just copy the template from here and paste it that's it second is copy from older existing or another pdb so these are two ways which we follow in order to create a pdb so when we create the pdb that moment of time you need this template okay which is given by oracle in order to help you so i hope till now the concept is clear okay and whatever it's not clear in the next class i will show you how to deal with the pluggable database i know uh, at least just try to understand i know this is a new topic for you and a little bit uh, difficult for digesting for you in this moment but there is nothing difficult to digest here 
because it's very easy there is a container on the container you have some products product one product two product three and this pro each product have their own owner that's it if you have this much of understanding that's it okay let's say this is my full flat or home i given in the rent in my home i have let's say room one room two room three and let's say room four four rooms are there i given in the rent each room have its own owner right but since i am the main owner of my home i can have access of my all four rooms but this is the owner of this room he can't access this room okay this is the owner of this room he can't access this room okay so this is as easy as the rooms right so this is the cdb admin the room the owner of the house and he is the room owner okay means there could be multiple rooms each room or uh, can be taken by different paying guests and they are paying the amount to him so he can have access to this database only he can't go to the neighbor one okay same applied for the neighbor and he can't access the owner's room okay because owner can't allow his uh, paying guests to live in live in his own room so this is example i just want to correlate so this is all about guys for today okay let's meet in the next class and let's do the hands on so you will understand it in better way thanks